Hey guys, my name is Bryce, and today I'm doing a video that you probably weren't expecting from this channel, but I'm doing a LEGO Friends set review. So this set features Mia, and she's a uh, crossbow expert, or working on it anyway. So in the set you have a little seating area with trophies and sandwiches, you have the archery practice area, and then you also have a little house for the hedgehog. So open this up. And it's going to be interesting too because this is not the first LEGO Friends set that I've had, uh, but the other one didn't have any actual figures in it, so I'm actually going to have this for the first time. I have to say, it was I had kind of high hopes and they were totally met with how cool this crossbow is. Although it's very interesting to see it <laughs> in this kind of body, just to handle this versus a minifigure is a very different experience, but it's something to get used to I guess. So right now I just finished doing the little hedgehog house, and it's funny, you don't see this color too often, however this immediately comes to mind with essentially the, the generation 2 wave 1 of like uh, Lego's armor and you know, obviously some Hero Factory stuff too, but it's interesting to see it here. Definitely gonna try and make more use of this now that I have, you know, a couple roof tile pieces of it. Okay, so right now I'm actually making a Lego sandwich for the first time. Much quicker, but less delicious than reality. And here we are. So, there's actually quite a lot of leftover pieces and I double checked, I'm not missing anything. Um, it's quite generous with all the stuff that you have, and considering a lot of it's flowers and decor, you can add kind of even more detail and everything to this scene, which I like. Um, the hedgehog house is adorable. I think just, yeah, this in general is very cute as a build. It's also interesting, too, to see that um, they have two different tones of uh, the wood colors and everything, but even in the instructions it's very easy to see, which is nice. Speaking of handling this, so you have your sort of pair of trophies, your reward sandwich, and you've got kind of like this little shaded lounge bungalow sort of things. It even reclines in the back, which is nice, so you can really relax after it all. But for the, the most action-packed part of this is, uh, of course, the target practice. Now, the apple I could pretty much figure out from the box, but I was thinking, how is this actual bullseye gonna work? You'll actually see it in action, where the apple, I'm gonna try and aim it with my right hand here. Yeah, excellent. So sharpshooter status, so we've got that, and then we just load it in this little section here. Fits in very, <laughs> in a very satisfactory way. Now for the bullseye, you aim in the middle, and you should knock out the back. And it's a really simple feature of just having the hoop here, and every time you place it back in and it's totally centered. This is actually really great where you could, you know, increase the distance and everything, and the, the sheer value of the set, though, it's fantastic. Like, three kind of distinct scenes, as well as like the little ammunition crate and even though my one complaint is that the figure can't stand up while holding her bow you can easily just place her on virtually any surface that you want. If you want you can just perch her up here and uh, essentially you can fire away without any issues of stability. You can even use different studs if you happen to lose a bunch of them or if you just want to mix it up um, in terms of colors and things like that and don't forget to you can change the distance as much as you like. My personal reason why I first got this was I wanted to make a tree fort, and I now have tons of material, which is great, but um, I honestly would recommend this for anybody. If you have, you know, you're working in Minecraft and you want to add more fun elements, you can do that. If you want to do, you know, even a spaceship or something, you can add like this nice little sort of botanical area where, you know, a crew can grow their food or something. Um, there's tons and tons of options, obviously, it's Lego. Yeah, definitely get your hands on the set. There's a lot of interesting, very unique pieces that uh, that all complement each other nicely, and then just the original set as is, is uh, it's a really great experience. Highly recommend it. Well, that's been it for today, guys. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.